A live look now at Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport. Verizon and AT&T have delayed launching their new 5G services at certain airports over concerns it could disrupt travel. Our Tori Cooper is live at Hartsfield Jackson this morning with the latest. Tori, what are airlines telling you this morning? Yeah, Rob, major airlines say that if AT&T and Verizon were to turn on these new 5G towers within two miles of this major airport or any other U.S. major airport, it could cause flights to be, the, be either delayed, diverted, or even canceled in a sum of nearly 1,100 flights per day, and that would impact nearly 100,000 passengers. Now, here's why I took some notes on this. Experts say that 5G services can interfere with equipment used by planes and pilots to take off and land in bad weather when there's low visibility. Emirates, Japan Airlines and Air India canceled flights just this week because of these concerns. Now, airline executives from Delta and other major airlines sent a letter Monday warning that the technology is one of the biggest threats to air travel. And some researchers, however, we spoke to at Georgia Tech say it may not cause interference, but passengers were also hopeful this wasn't going to get in their way either. A lot of the airlines are concerned about that 5G coming online because of their uh, radar altimeters operating on the aircrafts that operate up at about 4.2 gigahertz. So um, in theory, this new 5G really shouldn't interfere with these aircrafts because there's quite a bit of spectrum that separates the equipment between the 5G equipment and the, and the aircraft. Ultimate. I hope that there's no disruptions in the flights or the patterns and I really hope that the technology has advanced enough that it works cohesively. Now the FAA tells us they are conducting a impact study right now. Meanwhile, Verizon and AT&T said they will keep this on hold for now. But again, there's no timeline on how long they will keep these towers turned off. And if they turn them on, what we could see here. Of course, we'll continue to track any developments that may come of these new towers. And we'll share it with you right here. Reporting live from Atlanta Hartsville Jackson International Airport, I'm Tori Cooper, CBS 46 News. Tori, thank you for that.